which is available in the comments section. All right, permalinks. Uh, this is actually a very, very big one that's used all the time, uh, but not many people really know how to use it. Uh, basically, what this does is this is, uh, changes the URL to something a little bit more spider friendly and a little bit more uh, user friendly uh, for people to be able to link to on your blog and people to be able to see on your blog and for the spiders to be able to eat keywords off of in your blog. Um, the common settings that they say are actually really not that common. Um, day and name, month and name, numeric. A lot of people actually really don't use that. Um, a lot of people will actually use a custom structure, but it's a little bit more complicated for some to use if you don't know what they are. Uh, so what you can do to change it is you can either just select your different one and you can hit save changes, or you can use a custom structure altogether. And what you can do is you can use the tags that are available, and there's a link right here that shows you exactly what tags there are, and it shows you these right here. Anything from category to post name to post ID, uh, to the date, uh, many different things that are available. So a, a very common one is the category structure followed by the post name structure. Um, you just simply enter category, a forward slash, and then the post name uh, tag, and then anything that you want after it. Uh, I put an HTML in there, it makes uh, uh, some hackers a little bit harder to tell that you're using WordPress because it doesn't say PHP after it. Uh, just different things along those lines. You can put whatever you want in there. You can put a forward slash, you can put nothing at all. You can even put uh, extra keywords in there if you want to and it will still recognize it. So it's a very very handy structure to use. Um, one other thing I wanted to touch on was this optional section down here. Um, by default, if they're browsing a category and showing all the posts, up in the URL it'll just show the category. But if you want something to come before that category, such as a targeted keyword or something like that, it's a certain thing that you want to show before the actual category name in your URL, you can put it here. So let's say if you wanted to put categories, and everything that'll show up after that will be the actual category, but it'll actually put that extra category keyword in there or whatever keyword that you show. Same thing with the tags. If you wanted to put my tags, then and any other tags that will show after that. And it'll give a little bit more logical structure to your URLs. That pretty much does it for permalink settings. Now on to the next section.